What's going on guys, it's Jesus here again to bring you another League of Legends video. Today I'm going to be going the, the rundown here for uh, Teamfight Tactics here for 9.19. Uh, I do know that we have another item, the Brawler's Glove, coming into the mix. We're just going to change up the item builds um, and create some new items as well. I don't know, I know that there are some other changes, I just don't know what those are. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into them. Um, so you can find these on uh, dotesports.com. All right, so we we'll start off here uh, with Glacial. So Glacial uh, has a lowered stun chance now from 2 seconds to 1.5 seconds. Four Glacials will stun chance increase from 30 to 33%. Uh, six Glacial stun will go from 45 to 50%. So kind of a rework. Um, depending on how you look at it, might be a stun or might be a uh, nerf, might be a buff, but I think it'll, it'll probably be roughly neutral. You'll stun more often, it's just not going to last as long, so there's that. Ninja 4, Ninja AD, and AP increased from 70 to 80, so more of an incentive to go 4 Ninjas now instead of just sticking with the 1. Um, so Noble, they're giving a little bit more power back to here, it looks like. Health is, the restores increased from uh, 25 to 30, so that's okay. Uh, Yordle values have changed three yordles 30 percent dodge six yordles 60 nine yordles 90 percent dodge wow that's powerful right there if you have a team full of yordles 90 percent dodge that's actually insane that might make yordles really really powerful uh, so now into the classes so ranger two ranger change uh, to increase attack speed lower from 30 to 25 percent so a little bit of a nerf to the rangers shapeshifter sh six shapeshifter max health lowered from 120 percent to 100 percent so a little nerf on the shapeshifters as well when you go uh all out there with the shapeshifters so and if he is getting a little bit of change total a built total damage lowered from 800 1 1100 uh 1400 to 600 900 1200 wow but her slow is increased from 70 up to 90 to 60 up to 90. Uh, wow. I didn't even feel like Anivia was all that powerful to begin with. Uh, I feel like she's just going to fall off now. Blitzcrank ability damage increase from 100 all the way up to 800 to 250 all the way up to 850. So pretty decently buffed and uh, at, at stars 1 and 2. But, you know, just a slight increase there at the last one. 850 damage is a lot, so... Uh, that's something to consider. Cassidy, an ability mana reduction increased from 20 all the way up to 60 to 25 all the way up to 75. Um, so, yeah, pretty decent little buffs to Cassidy. Katarina, ability damage increased from 40 all the way up to 80 from to 50 all the way up to 100. So a little bit more damage. Uh, I don't ever feel like the the ability damage on Cat was the problem. It's just getting her, her ability off. And... Uh, so you're still going to need probably like, what, six tiers or something to really make it viable. But I guess if you can make it, it's more of an incentive to actually put um, those items on the Katarina. Okay, so next is Kindred. Uh, Kindred ability damage lowered from four to six, uh, I guess seconds, right? Assuming seconds. Ability duration lowered from four to six seconds to three to five seconds. So slight nerf to the Kindred. Uh, just kind of hurts those that ranger comp that everybody's been running here. Misfortune damage increased from 19 all the way up to 1700 uh, to 1400 to 2800. Wow, that is a pretty big buff there for Misfortune. So, uh, yeah, she's actually worth considering now. Uh, I mean, she usually gets... Wow, that's actually powerful. Yeah, more, I mean, uh, Misfortune is going to be pretty solid. Mordekaiser ability damage lowered. Um, looks like just on ranks two and three, down 50 at two, down 100 at three. Yeah, just down overall. Sajwani ability stun increased from two and a half all the way up to four and a half seconds to two and uh, five seconds. So lowered later on, guessing is what they meant to say, because it looks like it has been decreased. Yeah, decreased in the early levels, increased in the later levels. 
by half a second at three specifically. Yeah. So Sejuani three stars better than Sejuani one star. Shivana ability burn damage lowered from 250 all the way up to 500, and that goes down to 200 to 400. So decent little nerf to Shivana. Kind of goes along with the shapeshifter nerfs. Tristana ability detonate damage increase from 60 all the way up to 120 to 70 to 150. So not too bad there. A little little buff to Tristana and ability basic attack damage increase a little bit as well. Vagar ability damage increase 300 to 350 800 to 950 on the high end. Pretty decent little buff to Vagar. Vi ability damage increased from 250 to 650 and 300 to 700 so a uh, little decent uh, buff to Vi as well. That looks like all of those changes, but they missed what I would consider probably the most crucial point of this patch, unless I'm just missing it. Where? It's weird that they're not okay. Let's try a different site here then. Okay, so here's the big change I've been looking for. Um, so the sparring gloves, adding it. The sparring gloves themselves give a 10% chance to dodge and a 10% critical strike chance. Um, so small little item that could possibly give, uh, or it does give critical strike. Um, and the big thing to be noted here is you'll notice here. The uh, Infinity Edge now is built from the Sparring Glove. So it was 2BF Swords, but now it's Sparring Gloves and BF Sword creates the Infinity Edge. Um, I'm, I still need to look in to figure out what 2BF Swords creates. Cause I don't think, I've read this article and I don't really think that they go into it. But, um, yeah, so there's that one obviously, goes into the Infinity Edge. Needless to the Large Rod creates the Arcane Gauntlet, and your abilities can critically strike with that. Uh, you get If you get it with a chain vest, Iceborne Gauntlet it, on dodge creates an expandable 30% attack speed slow zone. Um, so kind of similar to um, what is that? The Frozen Heart if uh, you dodge. But you get a 10% chance to do, do so by the sparring gloves. Um, if you I guess paired up with a tier of the goddess, you get Hand of Justice at the beginning of the playing phase, so where randomly gains either 40% increased damage or 40 life on hit until the end of round, which is pretty cool. Um, if you pair it with a recurve bow, you get repeating crossbow. Whenever the wearer dies, repeating crossbow passes to a new ally. They gain 20% crit strike and 20% attack speed. This stacks with each pass of the item. So if you theoretically you would want to put this on somebody who's going to die early. And then which passes it to somebody else who might die, which passes it to somebody else. So uh, that's a neat item and could throw some wrench wrenches into strategies. Pretty interested about that one. So now we finally have a spatula item. When you, when you pair up the spatula with this, um, you get the mittens, which makes the wearer also a yordle. Uh, we just touched on yordles and, and that nine, uh, the nine bonus with Yordles, where it's 90% chance of dodging, that's pretty crazy. Um, so that's a way that you can get there is with a spatula and uh, the new item being the Brawler's Gloves. If you pair the Brawler's Gloves with the Negaclon Troke, you get Quicksilver, uh, which prevents the next crowd control effect applied to the wear refreshes every five seconds. So it can prevent crowd control entirely every five seconds. If you pair the Brawler's Gloves with the Giant's Belt, you get Backhand. The wearer starts combat with a Spell Shield, and whoever breaks that Spell Shield gets uh, stunned for a while. And if it's Double Sparring Gloves, you get Thief's Gloves. On the round start, you gain two temporary items. Their quality is based on your player level. So that's also a pretty neat thing. I'm thinking that item becomes better, obviously, as you uh, level up, and you'll get better items. That could be a really cool item as well. Um, no, something else to be noted here is Kaisa is being released 
into Team Fight Tactics, which is pretty crazy. She is a Void Ranger Assassin, so she's one of those triple guys. Uh, it's going to be a, a sen essential piece, and you know, kind of some some uh, comps, you know, where where she can be both the Ranger and the Assassin, adding to each of those uh, class bonuses, I guess you would say. Her ability is she dashes to the furthest, furthest enemy, getting a shield and a lot of attack speed for a few seconds. She's a five cost, which means uh, she's going to be pretty difficult to come by. But I'm imagining that uh, she's pretty strong. According to this, her base AD is lower, but she's equipped with the highest base attack speed in the game. Um, so, like this says, uh, stacking Genzus and other attack speed items is going to be really good on her. Static Shiv, obviously, is a really good uh, item that's going to be on her as well. Um, so it's pretty cool, pretty neat um, new champion that they're going to be introducing. I'm I'm excited to see, I guess, what ends up happening. Um, and they've also, with that, I guess they've changed up the void trait. So voids are going to act more in the way that Imperial does, where if you have two voids, the true damage is only going to apply to one of your voids, whereas if you have four, it applies to all four that you have. Uh, or I guess technically five you could have, right? I think there are five void champions. So maximum of five voids in the game all having true damage, but you only get that if you play all five. So that's pretty cool. Um, it, it definitely helps out because my understanding right now is that the meta is certainly void assassin. Um, so having that void taken away takes the power away from the early game and makes, them, makes people that are trying to pursue that composition to take a little bit of that damage early not have to, uh, you know, just get the freebie for having a strong comp early and then also having what happens to be the best late game comp out there as well. Um, so I'm, I'm interested to see with the shapeshifters, the rangers, the voids changing, how the meta is going to play out. I'm excited to see Kaisa. I'm ready for the Brawler's Gloves to come into play and all these cool new items. I'm super excited. Hope you guys are as well. Hope you guys like this video. And if you did, give me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Jesus, and I'll see you guys next time.